Welcome, welcome guys to your 30 minute power yoga flow. And today our emphasis is gonna be on our core. Now, as you already know, it's really important to strengthen the core and not only the muscles um, on the top layer of the abs, so the six pack muscles, we wanna work deep into the lower and the deeper core muscles, the transverse abdominals. So I'm gonna teach you a few different ab exercises today in this half an hour to really fire up. And when we start to strengthen the core, we're also strengthening around the back as well. So we're really supporting our spine and we're supporting our posture. So what you'll need today is either a yoga block or a yoga roll. Now in forest yoga, so if, you, if you've um, done a lot of forest yoga with me before, or I bring certain parts of forest yoga into my classes, We'll use a rolled up roll. So it's made out of either a yoga mat or a towel or a blanket. And we use this to squeeze between our legs and we do other things with it as well. Um, but it just means that it's a bit softer on the body. So if you've got a block between your legs, it can either be a little uncomfortable at times or maybe a bit too wide or narrow. So if you wanna create a roll, just roll up a towel um, or jumper, anything that you can and just tie it with a strap or anything that you can find. And then you've just got that to squeeze between your legs. Okay, so make sure you've got one or, one or the other because we are gonna be using those. If you don't have a block or a, or a roll, then just grab a cushion. Okay, and then let's get started. So come to lying down on your back. So just let the, leap, the feet fall to the corners of the mat. And just bring the hands to the lower belly. Let the elbows rest towards the ground. Just find a comfortable lying position. Close the eyes. Breathing in and out through the nose. Really start to breathe into the palms of the hands here. So sending the breath into the chest, the ribs, and then the lower belly. Really start to get this steady breath in, breath out. And when we're doing core work, we really need our breath. It really helps us. It really brings the power, the fire into the core. When we breathe properly, when we breathe functionally, it allows us to use our diaphragm to breathe instead of the muscles all around the shoulders and the neck. And when we're doing our abs, we want to relax around the neck and the shoulders as much as we can. Let go of any tension around that area. So each time you breathe out now, just for the next few moments, really get this sense of relaxing through the shoulders, the back of the neck. Relax your jaw. Relax between the eyes. And then just opening the eyes, just taking a soft gaze towards the ceiling. But stay with your breath. So feel your hands rise and fall. And then hug the knees into the chest, give yourself a big squeeze. If your chin is pointing up towards the ceiling, just point your chin now towards your belly button, lengthen the back of the neck. Let's take a roll from side to side, so just rocking out the spine. Take the arms out wide into a T-shape and just let the knees fall over to the left-hand side. Don't worry, we'll get moving in a moment. It's not gonna be a gentle stretch the whole way through. We're gonna work through some interval training. So bringing a bit of hit into our power yoga flow. Just warming up the muscles around the core and the spine to start. Let's take the knees to the right hand side. So just really coming into your breath. Keep training yourself. 
Keep coming back to this steady breath. And then bring your knees back to the center. Hold behind the thighs. We're gonna rock up and down through the spine. So rocking all the way up. If you need to use your hands on the floor for a bit of support, you can. It's warming up, coming all the way up. Let's go for three more. Last two. One more. And you're gonna come all the way up, plant the feet on the floor. And then holding behind the thighs, really start to lift the chest bone up tall. So you really get this length through the spine. And then now start to curl the bottom under, pulling belly button towards the spine. And you're gonna lean back till you can't go anymore because your hands are holding onto the backs of your thighs. So your lower core is activated. Pull your pubic bone up towards your navel. Now you've got a choice. You can either hold on and stay here, keep lifting the chest high, or you can float the hands just outside of the thighs. And I want you to breathe. So keeping the feet on the floor as we warm up through the lower layers of the core. Keep your focus on one point in front of you. And then if your hands are away from the backs of your thighs, just holding onto the backs of the thighs, lifting the chest all the way up. So everyone coming to sit up. Whew. So now we're gonna add a bit of movement into this. So keep the chest lifted, start to find that curve through the lower spine. So pubic bone up towards navel. And then extend the arms out in front, lift the shins. Hold onto the backs of the legs if you need a little more support. We're gonna rock back and then come back into our boat pose and hold it there. So you can do this holding on, you can do it with the arms to the side. So join in whenever you're ready. And what we want is this hold here, hold for a few seconds and then rock back. So actually you really start to strengthen, find the control. The feet might come to the ground, that's okay for more support. Okay, and we're gonna go for 30 seconds. So getting as much control as you can, use your core. Keep pulling your pubic bone up towards your navel. Okay, we're almost there. Take one more full rock and then bring the feet to the floor. Just cross the legs, bring the hands to the ground in front of you, walk the arms out in front and just relax the head. Take a deep breath in and a big breath out. Just come onto the hands and knees. Coming into cat cows, the hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Let's take a breath in, lower the belly, open the chest. Breath out, round through the spine. Breath in, open the belly, open the chest. Breath out, round through the spine. And just come into some free movement, some moving in any way that feels good. Just really make sure you release the head, the neck. And we just want to really waken up any muscles that haven't been stretched for a while through the middle of the body. So when we come into more core exercises, every little muscle is awake. Okay, and then coming into some stillness, tuck your toes, lift the hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Pushing away from the hands, take a slight bend in the knees, lift the hips up and back. Breathe in, lift your right leg up. And then breathe out, draw right knee to nose. Now point the right toes, lift the right knee, use your core muscles to lift your leg. Breathe in, lift back up. 
This time, right knee to left elbow, come across the body. Really use your core to hug your right knee in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Squeeze it into the back of the right arm. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift up. Use your core. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. One more round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, lift up. Right knee to left elbow. Come across the body. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring the right foot down. Take the knees wide, big toes together. Child's pose. Forehead, forearms, relax down. Take a deep breath in. Sigh out through the mouth. Any movements that you need to take, just take those now in these little moments of rest. And then coming back onto the hands and knees, lift into your down dog. And we've got one more side. Three rounds. Okay, lift the hips high. Breathe in, lift the left leg. Breathe out, left knee to nose. Draw your weight forwards. Lift your left knee, point your left toes. Use your core. Inhale, lift up. Left knee to right elbow, cross the body. Inhale, lift up. Left knee to left elbow, hug it in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose, second round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, over to the right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Keep going, one more round, breathe in, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Left knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift. Left knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift. Bring the left foot down. Bring the knees down. Find your child's pose. Relax the shoulders. Take a few deep breaths. Oh, take a big sigh out through the mouth. And then walk the hands into the body. Grab your roll, your towel roll. If you don't have your roll, grab your block or a cushion and come to lying on your back. Now you're going to place your roll in between the legs, so as close to the groin as possible. So you want to be squeezing it with the top part of the insides of the legs. And then lift the legs towards the ceiling. Spread the toes wide so the feet are active and then lift up through the balls of the feet. Now with these forest abs, we really work the deep transverse abdominal muscles. Now these muscles also strengthen through to the spine as well. So we're not just working with these six pack muscles. I actually have a six pack underneath my belly. I just love food, but I know that I've got a strong core. So these Exercises really build that core. Okay, I'll get on with the ab exercise now. Let's interlace the fingers behind the head and neck. Lift your elbows so they're facing towards the ceiling. And take a deep breath in. Hold your breath, squeeze your roll, curl tailbone up. Exhale, lift elbows up towards your toes. Keep your head heavy in your hands. Inhale, lower the head and shoulders down. Hold the breath, squeeze your roll, curl tailbone up. Then exhale, lift elbows towards toes. Keep your gaze towards the ceiling. Inhale, lower head and shoulders. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll, curl tailbone up. Exhale, lift the elbows. Inhale, lower head and shoulders. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll, curl tailbone up. 
Exhale, lift the elbows. Keep the head heavy in the hands. Inhale, lower head and shoulders. Hold the breath. Squeeze your roll. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, lift. In case you're wondering how many more, we've got three. Inhale, lower head and shoulders. Hold your breath. Squeeze your roll. Activate the legs. Exhale, lift the elbows. Two more. Inhale. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Squeeze the roll. Exhale. Lift elbows up towards the toes. Last one. Inhale. Lower the head and shoulders. Hold the breath. Squeeze the roll. Curl tailbone up. Exhale. Elbows towards the toes. Inhale. Lower the head and shoulders. Bend the knees. Bring the soles of the feet down. Relax the arms down by your side. Take a deep breath in. Out through the mouth. Let's remove your roll or your block, whatever you've got. And take your knees from side to side. Another forest yoga ab exercise, elbow to knee. You'll be familiar with this one. Put it in most of my classes. Interlace the fingers behind the head and neck. Bring your legs into tabletop position. So shins parallel to the ground, knees in line with the hips. Spread the toes, activate the feet. Now if you've got a gap between the lower back and the spine, start to pull belly button down, curl pubic bone up towards your navel. So this tuck of the tailbone up. Face the elbows towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in, breathe into the lower back. Curl head and shoulders off the floor. Exhale, bring elbows towards left knee, extend through right leg. Inhale back to the center. Hold the breath, curl your tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to right knee, extend through left leg, pull belly button down. Inhale back to center. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to left knee, extend through right leg. Lift your left shoulder blade away from the ground. Inhale, back to center. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to right knee, extend through left leg. Lift your right shoulder blade away from the ground. Inhale, back to the center. Stay with the fire. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to left knee, extend through right leg. Pull belly button down. Inhale, back to center, hold the breath, curl pubic bone up. Exhale, elbows to right knee, extend through left leg, pull belly button down. Inhale, back to the center, stay with me, hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to left knee, extend through right leg, pull belly button down. Inhale, back to the center, hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to right knee, extend through left leg. Lift your right shoulder blade away from the ground. Inhale, back to the center, one more round. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to left knee, extend through right leg. Pull belly button down. Inhale, back to center, last one. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to right knee, extend through left leg. Pull belly button down. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, lower the head, lower the feet. Bring the hands to the belly, close the eyes. Take deep breaths down into the belly. Feel the fire you've created. Hug the knees into the chest, give yourself a big squeeze. Take a rock from side to side. And then again, we're gonna rock up and down the spine, holding behind the thighs, or you can use no hands. And this time I'm gonna rock all the way up, come onto the hands and knees. And then come down onto the forearms, 
Now measure the forearm so you grab the outer edges of the upper arms, so that's where your elbows will be, and then interlace the fingers. Coming into our low plank, so coming onto the toes, lifting the knees, and just start to pull your lower rib cage up towards your spine. Really push away from the arms, so we're not dipping into the shoulders, we're pushing away. Now you can stay here and breathe working into the whole of the core, or we begin to move, working into the sides of the core. Rolling onto the outer edge of the right foot, dip your right hip to hover just above the floor. Inhale back to center, left hip towards the floor. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. Inhale to center, over to the right. Back to center, over to the left. Keep it in time. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. One more round. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. Inhale to center, come onto the knees. Take a child's pose or just collapse to the ground. Take a few deep breaths. Okay, are we ready to go again? Slightly different this time. I want you to measure out the elbow distance and again interlace the fingers. Come back into your low plank. Now this time we're going to draw the knees to the opposite elbows. So depending on how long your legs are, you might need to lift your hips a little higher to get your knee through. But keeping the lower rib cage pulled up so the core is active. Keep pushing away from the hands. We draw right knee towards left elbow and send it back. Left knee to right elbow, send it back. Keep going. So it's like mountain climbers, but across the body. Okay, we're going to go for 45 seconds, starting now. If you need to rest, you can come down to rest. Keep it slow. Keep it controlled and keep breathing. 15 seconds gone. Really working into the sides of the body. We're halfway. Breathe through the fire. Okay, we've got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Come onto the knees. I was ready for that. Oh, child's pose. Either knees wide or knees together. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Oh. Okay, walk the hands in towards the body. Now we're just going to come up onto our feet and come sideways on your mat. So take your legs wide as if you're coming into a wide leg forward fold. So both toes are facing towards the side of your mat. And take your arms out wide, palms facing down. I want you to reach through your left fingertip. So you're reaching all the way towards the left side. So you start to feel a stretch through the right side of the body. Instead of collapsing into the left side, I want you to keep lifted. So we're really lengthening and strengthening. Then we're going to reach towards the right side. And we're just going to go from side to side. So it's almost like an Egyptian dance. You can do a bit of arm movement if you want. 
But if you really slow it down and really start to activate these muscles, you start to feel the strength as you go from slowly from side to side. Breathing in, breathing out either through the nose or the mouth. Okay, we're gonna go for four, three, two, one. Hold it there, turn your left toes to the top of the mat. Triangle pose, so pull up through the thighs. Keep that length you've created as you reach towards the top of your mat. We're gonna hold. Feel the strength down the side of the body. If you poke it, you should be able to feel those muscles switch on. And then we're gonna release left hand to left shin. Lift the right arm up. Come all the way up to standing. Switch sides, so feet, the right foot turns out. Triangle pose, lift the thighs. Reach forward so you can't reach anymore. And keep this length through both sides of the ribs. I want you to lift the chest towards the ceiling a little bit so you start to really feel the stretch down the left side of the body. Lift the thighs, legs support you. Breathe. And then right hand to right shin, left arm lifts. Open through the chest. And then come all the way up to standing. Turn both feet to face the side of the mat. Keep the arms out wide. Stick the bottom back slightly as you draw the chest bone forward. So you're coming down halfway with a flat back. Gaze down towards the ground so the whole of the back of the neck is long. And breathe. And fold over the legs. Release the hands towards the ground. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. Walk your hands around to your right foot and step back into your downward facing dog. Then come down onto the knees. Sit at the bottom back. We're coming down onto our backs now. Okay, so once you're on your back, have your right foot pressing into the ground. Left leg extended up towards the ceiling. Then the arms, right hand behind the head and neck, left arm lifts up towards the ceiling. Have your palm facing towards the right hand side. So the thumb is closest to the face. Okay, lift your head and shoulders, lift your right elbow up towards the ceiling. Pull belly button down. Inhale, start to send the left leg away from the body, left arm over the head. Exhale, lift. Left hand, left foot towards one another. Inhale, extend, reach away. Exhale, lift. So your right arm is supporting your head. Ooh, I can feel the shakes. Inhale, send the arm and leg away. Exhale, reach. Inhale. Exhale, reach. Pull belly button down here. Two more on this side. Inhale. Exhale, pull belly down, lift the shoulders. One more, inhale. Breathe out, lift, hold. And then release the left foot, release the head and shoulders. Take a moment to breathe. Let's switch sides. So left foot on the floor, right leg extends up. Left hand behind the head and neck, right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. So have the palm facing towards the left side of the mat. Take a deep breath in, breathe into the lower back. As you exhale, lift your head and shoulders. So we're just holding here for a moment. Let the head be heavy in the hands. Take another breath in. Exhale, pull belly button down. Sorry, I gave you a delayed response there. Inhale, take the right arm over the head, reach the right leg away from the body. Exhale, reach foot and hand towards one another. Inhale, keep pulling belly button down. Exhale, lift. When we slow it down, 
we start to build more strength. Exhale, lift. Keep going. Allow the shakes to come if they're coming. Exhale, lift. We've only got two more. Exhale, lift and reach. Last one. Exhale, lift and reach, hold. And then release the right foot down, release the head and shoulders. Take the knees from side to side. And then we're going to do one more ab exercise. Now this one's called Star Spiral Pulse from Forest Yoga. The left leg extends straight up to the ceiling. The right leg is bent, so the shin is parallel to the ground. Interlace the fingers behind the head and neck. <clears throat> so we'll slow the first round right down and then we'll bring it into real time. So I want you to breathe in, feel the lower back, fill it with air, press into the ground. Hold your breath. Lift your head and shoulders away from the ground. And then as you breathe out, you're going to push your right heel towards the ceiling and twist the right, the left, sorry, the left heel. So let's let go of the breathing. Let's just go through the movement. So let's start again. Lower your head and shoulders. Sorry, I royally messed that one up. Okay, forgive me. Let's let go of the breathing for this first round. So press your lower back into the mat, curl your tailbone up, lift your elbows up towards your left toe. Now your left toe turns in and your left heel presses up towards the ceiling. So it's almost like this kicking action up towards the ceiling. So what you're doing is lifting your leg away from the hip for one, two, three, and then switch legs. So left leg bends, right leg lifts, Lower the head and shoulders. Press the lower back into the ground. Curl your tailbone up. Lift the elbows. We pulse the right heel up towards the ceiling, turning the right big toe in for three, for two, for one. Switch legs. Right leg bends, left leg lifts. Lower the head and shoulders. Okay, so we add in the breath here. Take a deep breath in, press the lower back down, hold your breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, lift elbows up, we pulse for three, two, one. Inhale, lower the head and shoulders down, lift right leg up. Hold the breath. Exhale, lift elbows, we pulse for three. So breathe out through the mouth, inhale. Switch the legs, lower the head and shoulders. We'll get there. Hold the breath, lift the elbows. Exhale for three, two, and one. Inhale, switch the legs, lower the head and shoulders. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Lift the elbows, we exhale for three, for two, for one. Bend both legs, bring the feet to the ground. Lower the head and shoulders, bring the hands to the belly. Whew, there's a lot going on in that one. Take a few deep breaths. Really, really effective though, once you get it. We'll do that one a little bit more. Okay, let's come into a bridge pose. So it's really important that we release our lower back here as well. So bring the feet about hip distance, just out of reach of the fingers. Palms face up, take a breath in. Exhale, push into the feet, roll the hips up, curl the tailbone under. Let's take a few rolls up and down. So rolling through the upper spine, middle spine, lower spine. And then again, pressing into the feet, curl your bottom under, lift up through the hips. Again, rolling down through the spine. One more time, lifting up. Hold it there. And then 
then slowly roll down through the spine. Hug the knees in, give yourself a big squeeze. Take a little rock from side to side. And just bring the soles of the feet onto the mat. Take a full body stretch. So stretch the legs out, stretch the arms over the head. Really explore the body. So you can lengthen one leg at a time. You can arch the back, whatever feels good. It feels quite nice for me when I arch the back and then pull belly button down to spine. And just get this lying down cat cow. Be really gentle with the spine. And then just relaxing the body, bend the elbows, bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees fall out wide. Just lie here for a moment, soften the eyes or if the eyes are closed, keep them closed. And just gently take the head from side to side, just feeling really open, this powerful part of your body, your core. It's really connecting back to that. That feeling of strength. And just roll onto your right hand side. Push yourself up to a seated position. I think I might have run over slightly, so I apologise. Hands on the knees. Close the eyes, take a few deep breaths, relax your belly. I just want you to take some little circles with the spine, so just going around. Opening the chest, rounding through the back. And just going in the opposite direction. Coming into some stillness, just bring the hands to the heart center, palms together. Take a deep breath in. Sigh out through the mouth. Ah, bow the forehead to the fingertips. Namaste.